This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Use the special code TJTunes at nordvpn.org slash TJTunes to get an insane 75% off a 3 year plan and an additional 1 month free. Thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Cockroaches are extremely annoying, and I think it's safe to say that everyone in the world hates cockroaches just as much as I do. Unless you're this girl right here. Not so long ago, I put up a poll in YouTube and Twitter asking you guys what the very first thing you would do when you saw a cockroach, and it was pretty interesting to say the least. The results were quite similar, so we're just gonna go with the YouTube one. And I found out that 65% of you are normal, 7% of you just don't care, 10% of you probably need to get some help, and 17% are helpless scaredy cats just like me. Which I guess that would also mean you're all pussy. Growing up in the Philippines as a child, I used to be terrified of cockroaches. Not because they were scary or anything, but somehow my 7 year old brain was convinced that being bit by a cockroach could actually kill you? Yeah, I don't even know how I came up with this notion. Maybe it was from a book or a movie, but I wasn't taking any chances. For the last freaking time, TJ, cockroaches can't kill you. They almost never even bite. You don't know that. And can you please cover up your skin? A roach might appear at any given time. Dude, you're crazy. You really like living life on the edge, don't you? Thankfully, this misconception didn't last for very long, and I was able to enjoy my childhood days without having to fear dying from cockroaches 24-7. But I still couldn't get over my fear of roaches. Until one hot summer afternoon when I was like 9 years old, my mom came home with a bundle of ice cream. And at the time it was just me, my mom, and my brothers, Peter and Daniel, and we were living in a pretty big house. The best thing about this place was that we had a huge backyard. Well, only 10% was actually grass and the rest was covered in cement. But let's just call it a backyard anyways. You don't know what to call it, do you? Shut up, Daniel! And having this much space for a kid during my time was like heaven. We could run around until we ran out of air, play tag, ball, green light, red light. But little did we know that this all for kids sanctuary was about to turn into a complete nightmare zone. Yes, and it's all because of this guy. Hey, how was I supposed to know cockroaches like vomit flavored ice cream so much? Ew, vomit flavored ice cream? Let me explain. So whenever my big brother had too much of something, he had this weird tendency to just barf it all out. And since my mom bought so much ice cream, Peter went ham on those things and finished most of it himself. As you can all guess, he began to feel a bit queasy. So he immediately dashed to the toilet and puked it all out. And nothing happened, it was all good, no disaster, yay. But then, he felt queasy a second time and rather than going to the toilet this time, there was this tiny sewer hole right outside in our backyard and he decided to just barf there of all places. The funny thing was, he didn't even vomit that much. It was just a little bit of ice cream mixed with stomach acid. But guess what happened? Within minutes, our entire backyard was completely and utterly infested with almost a thousand cockroaches, both crawling and flying. And do you know how scary flying cockroaches are? Hi, I hope you your room. <laughs> At least when they're on the ground, you can actually kill it. But flying cockroaches? Uh-uh, you want none of that. Now aside from my mom who was surprisingly calm about the whole situation, me and my brothers were mortified. And the only thing that separated us from this chaos was this 12 foot long sliding glass door. But as you may all know, cockroaches are just magnificent creatures that are able to somehow always find a way inside your home. So it didn't take too long for a couple of them to show up in our house, and for someone who was genuinely afraid of roaches, I was about to lose it. But then, something crazy unexpected happened. Uh, Bella, I don't think we should be here. Oh, stop being a larvae, Edward. But, hey, look at me, oh, it's so scary, <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. Mom, you, 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 you just caught those cockroaches with your hands. Oh, this? 
Don't worry, hun. I'll just wash it off later. Now go grab me my ba- I mean, some slippers from the shoe drawer. Pause right there. Okay, first, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't heard of any other Asian moms who catches cockroaches with their bare hands. I mean, who does that? It's, it's, it's disgusting. And second, that was pretty awesome. Excuse me? Yeah, call me crazy, but my nine-year-old self thought demolishing a cockroach with the bare palm of your hands was the coolest and baddest thing on earth. That's right, and despite how gross the whole thing was, it somehow helped me get over my fear of roaches. There's no science behind it, it just did. So when I came back with the slippers, I was already booming with confidence. And so were my brothers. We were ready. Remember, kill or be killed. It's everyone for themselves, got it? Wait, why are you the only one with protection? Yeah, how about us? Ugh, fine. Wait here. Uh, mom, where do you even get these? Enough questions. It's time to kick some cockroach ass. Ha, <laughs> you said a bad word. The battle raged on for many days, and despite our undying efforts, the cockroach race triumphed over us, and mankind was forced to live under the reign of cockroaches. We were brutally tortured, used as cheap entertainment, and locked in cages to rot for all eternity. I'm just kidding. It only took us an hour to kill all the brown scuttling creatures, and it wasn't much of a battle to begin with cause the roaches were all just running away for their lives. Plus, I think my mom kinda did all the work. In the end, we had like three huge piles of cockroach corpses and had a lot of fun lighting them on fire. So yeah, that's the story of how I got over my fear of roaches, and to this day, they're still the most annoying creatures in my hit list. But you know what's worse than having to deal with cockroaches? Filthy hackers. That's right, and if you're someone like me who spends every minute of your life on a computer, I believe virtual private networks are a must in order to protect your online security and privacy. That's why you should definitely go check out our sponsor for today, NordVPN. Click on my link in the description below and get NordVPN for only $2.99 a month. That's a freaking 75% off a 3 year plan. What? That's insane! I know, but that's not all. If you use my code TJTunes, you even get an extra one whole month for free. It's basically free web protection! What NordVPN essentially allows you to do is surf the net anonymously with zero data logging, using complex military grade encryption, in up to six different devices simultaneously. And having thousands of servers in over 60 different countries, NordVPN allows you to be virtually anywhere in the world without actually having to be there. Whether you're someone who constantly travels or stays home a lot, you can never be too safe when connecting your device to other unknown networks. So give NordVPN a go and make sure your online privacy is protected at all times. If you're still not too sure about it, you have 30 days to get your money back guaranteed. So don't be afraid to give it a try. Once again, that's nordvpn.org slash tjtunes with the code tjtunes for an exclusive 75% off a 3 year plan and an additional 1 month free. Enjoy! Hey, have you seen Dan anywhere? Wait, you're right. I didn't even see him kill a single cockroach. Huh, <laughs> why kill cockroaches when I can play with my Game Boy? Now, should I level up my Pikachu or Where's the ice cream? <laughs> hey, Toon fam. Oh my gosh, it's been about a month. I know, I'm sorry. A lot of things have happened. I can't explain it all, but it is what it is. Anyway, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Tabs for taking the time and patience to voice my mom. Like who wants to voice a mom? <laughs> it's such a lame role. I don't know how she put up with it, but the way she voiced her and mainly because it was Tabs, like she made my mom look so badass in the video. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you have some time, go check her out. Like her humor is one of a kind. And I mean that in a really good way. 2018 has been an incredible year for me. First with my Bongo Cat video, then my water park video, which I collabed with Emirichu. Like you guys have been showing so much love and support. It, it just blows my mind. Like 
Honestly, I feel like I haven't been showing my appreciation well enough, especially with how bad my upload schedule is. And I don't want to look like I'm taking things for granted. So this year, I'm going to try to improve on that. I'm really excited for what 2019 has in store for me, for us, for this channel. And yeah, I really hope you guys continue to stick by me in this incredible journey. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more. And yeah, I'm gonna go pass out now. <laughs> Bye.